today, our webinar will be about Google Play Books. So what is Google Play Books? It is an app that is designed for you to download eBooks, also known as electronic books, comics, textbooks, audiobooks, and manga. Access and compatibility. The Google Play Books can be accessed through the Google Play website, through the mobile app, which is available on iOS and Android devices, as well as through a Chrome web browser, a simple search. Some of its features are that it allows for highlighting text, translation, adding notes, and also has a built-in dictionary. It is also able to sync ebooks along with notes, highlights, and bookmarks on many devices. Features. It also has text to speech support and adjust, adjusting background, background color, text alignment, and brightness. Books can be purchased or rented directly from the app, the ebook store. It also supports the publishing of books by allowing uploads of PDFs. It also allows reading even when you're offline. Font, font size, layout, and paragraph spacing can also be customized to preference while reading. Some of the pros and cons are, the pros are that it is a free app. It is also compatible with all devices. It's simple, straightforward interface and more than 5 million titles. The pro is that it needs a Google account to access and you must purchase books from the website, which means you cannot buy from the app. Getting started, Google Play website. In your browser, go to play.google.com store. If you are not already logged in to your Google account in your web browser, it will prompt you to do so. Next, in the menu bar, on the left, click Books. Here, my books include books you have added in your library, like a storage, and shops is for you books that you need to buy. Use the search bar to find books or items of your interest. These are also the categories of items you will find. If you only want audiobooks, click the category audiobooks. Search books related to a specific genre, like a topic of books, such as science, by clicking the genre button. After selecting a genre, you may select a subgenre, a more specific topic like astronomy under the general science. 
you will see the ebook prices, rating stars, title, author, and the cover of the book. Upon clicking a book, you will see more details, like its description. You'll also be able to view a sample upon clicking free sample. It is also a good idea to look at the ratings, also the stars, and the reviews, which are comments made on the item before reading or purchasing it. These will give you a great idea of what the book is about and how other people feel about this specific book. Next, buying an ebook. Click the price button to buy the book. If you do not already have a payment method saved, you must add one. It can be either a credit card or debit card. It can be PayPal or a redeem code. Once you added a payment method, you can purchase the book. Then it will be available to read in your library. Google Play app. Once you downloaded and open the app, it will prompt you to sign into your Google account. Once you're signed in, you can scroll through the top selling ebooks and audiobooks on the home page. Or you can use the search bar to search for a specific title. To learn more about a title, you can click on it. From here, you can either add it to the wish list, listen to the free sample, or read the description about this book, as well as viewing the ratings and the reviews. library, your books. You can access and read books that you purchase from the Google Play website. There's also shelves where you can sh create shelves to match the way you think. There's other function known as a wish list to keep track of the books you want to read. Also, there is a profile section where you can manage your Google account, playbook settings, and accessing help and feedback. Google Play Book Settings. These are some of the settings that you'll see when you click on the settings. There's there's options such as download only over Wi-Fi, Google Drive Sync, Google App Settings, send anonymous crash reports, as well as there's more specific settings for reading such as 3D effect for page turns, tools for beginner readers, automatically turn pages, and other options for audio playback and advanced settings. This is a quick video on reading ebooks on Google Play Books. So thank you for listening. And if you would like to learn this lesson with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call this number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-ins sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays.